Okay, so I just chopped through a two by four here, and this is a four and a half inch blade skinny knife. It's not a bushcraft knife. Uh, however, I wanted to show you guys what this magna cut steel will do, stainless steel. And honestly, uh, we make our knives thinner than pretty much any other hunting knife that you're gonna find in the store. This edge is about 12 thousandths thick, uh, maybe 14. Um, I just beat it through two by four, chopping, beating with a hammer. Yeah, my hand is a little tired. This knife is made to more skin and do that kind of stuff than chop. Uh, however, it made it through it with absolutely no deformations, no chipping. Uh, I deformed the spine just a little bit with my hammer, very slightly. But what I wanna show you guys is just how tough you can expect your knife to be, even though it's thin and light. Uh, if you heat treat your steel correctly, that's what you can expect. Now I'll show you, I haven't checked it yet, but we just went through a two by four. And that thing is smoking hair like crazy. And I don't know if you guys can, hopefully you can see that on the camera. Henry, are you catching that? It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely still as sharp as when I started beating through that two by four. It's hard for me to choose my favorite knife. Uh, it's like choosing between your children. Um, I love the Blackfoot, I love the Speed Goat. They all have their individual purposes. Um, but I would say as an overall hunting knife uh, across all spectrums of what you're gonna hunt, this stainless stone wall might very well be my actual favorite. It's absolutely not even hanging up, not even one spot in that, that's very thin paper. There's not a single spot that's hanging up on that edge. 